All right, here's the walkthrough. So as I mentioned, we're going to be doing something called building an assembly. So that's going to be different than building a part in, because a part is just one single tap. Well, an assembly is going to be bringing multiple parts together. So last week I had all of you build flowers as one part where it's all you're kind of building things on top of each other and while well, i think it helps for just getting used to on shape as an interface you're only focused on this one type of page um, i do think that assemblies are really useful for when you're doing anything even remotely complicated it's going to have multiple parts coming together and it's a major major part of computer animated design so i would be remiss not to include it so as I mentioned for the assignment, you're going to be building a flower that has three specific things. And as I mentioned, some of you have that already. You can take a look down below at the specifics of the assignment to see where I have some extra bonus challenges for those of you who have a bit more experience coming in. One sec. So make sure I'm plugged in here. So we're going to start off. Part one is going to be a flower pot. And so to do this, I'm going to show off a thing, something called loft and shell. And let's see how this goes. So loft is requires, let's take a look at loft. We're going to need two profiles from start to finish. So I will do this slow, but you can always rewind the video to come back. So I'm going to select the top plane. So I selected it there. I'm going to click top right. And again, on the flip side, if this is, if you feel like you got this kind of stuff, you can fast forward through the video, put the video on a higher speed, whatever you like. But so again, I am highlighting top. You can do that from here too. Click top, so I'm facing it, and I'm going to enter a sketch. So you can see I'm doing a sketch in the top plane. Now to draw, I'm going to use this inscribed polygon, which involves first I'm going to draw a circle. And then I choose how many sides I want it to have. So we're going to go five sides. And then, but an important thing I'm going to want to do here is called dimensioning. So there's this one over here called dimension. I just want to make sure because in an assembly, you got to keep track of your units. So let's make this three inches. So I hit three, enter, makes it a little bit bigger for me. I hit check. I'm feeling good about that one. Now, the next thing I need to do is create a plane. And uh -huh, this version does not have it readily available. So I'm going to do search tools. I'll type in plane the plane function so i want to offset the top plane and i want it to be three inches up so now as i hit click this you can see plane one we'll call we can even name it if we want we can call it pot top helps you keep track as you get these things going you'll want to be able to name them if you if you like um some might help you keep track. So I'm going to select pot top, enter a sketch. Because so I know it's parallel to the top plane. I'm going to click top here. And now, even though it looks like I'm drawing on this, I'm actually drawing all the way up here on pot top. This one, I want to keep, I don't want to detract too much from the aesthetics of the flower itself. So I'm going to make another circle and again dimension it to be three inches. Great. Now exit that. Now I have two sketches on two different planes. Now let's select the loft. Now it's going to ask me to choose two profiles. So I'm going to choose pot top and the bottom one. And you can actually see, uh, you can see it starting to propagate, but I'll hit check so you can really, well, you can really get in there and look at it. So now there are a couple things to do, pot options for the next step. One is you can do what's called a shell which is pretty quick. You can choose the shell thickness. I want this to be, say, a quarter inch thick. And the face to remove is going to be the top. And voila, boom, the top is out. And you can actually see, if you zoom in here, you can actually kind of tell that it arcs, it, the, it just keeps that thickness throughout so that you can see it start to turn into the pentagon at the bottom. So I hit check. That might be a good option, or you know, I might want something a little more simple. I'll delete the shell, and instead, I'm going to click extrude. Ooh, I can't do that yet. I lied. I lied. Don't extrude. I'm going to again get that top view, enter a sketch on this face. 
So I do that by clicking the face when I enter a sketch. You know, I'm doing it on the plane that's the face of the loft. I'm going to use good practice and get my top plane there. And you can see as I highlight over this, I have a little marker there. As I'm on, a, as I'm on an axis, there is a um, horizontal line saying that I'm on a horizontal part of a plane. Or when I'm right in the middle, it has the little T with a dot in the middle. That means I'm going to be right on this line. So again, I'm going to create it. and now I'll dimension it to be, let's make it, so to account for that quarter thickness on each side, we'll make this 2.5. And then now when I go to extrude, I can click this shape. It wants to add, which I don't want to do, I want to remove. So we're going to have it go down, and I know I made it three inches up, so let's take away 2.75 inches enter boom so now i again it's still a pot and i actually like this one a little better it looks a bit more clean you know if you have to clean the pot i don't want to worry about digging out into those sides so this is now my pot shape great i'm gonna go add a part studio we start from scratch again you know, this is where if you really are getting into the dimensions, I'm going to write down that it's been three inches, um, the different diameters and dimensions of it. But now we're going to get into the stem. So for the stem, I'm going to stem. I'm going to use something called a sweep. So the sweep requires two things. You need a face or a region to sweep, and then you need a sweep path. So to keep my orientations, you can go. I always like to kind of treat this, you know, top front as my orientation of like, this is how I'd be looking at it if it was on a table and I'm looking at it across the table, topping the top down view, etc. So for the stem, let's do, let's create this top down view. So again, I'm going to select top, enter a sketch. This time I'm going to make a triangle and I will... I was about to take a shortcut and make a bunch of lines, but I will do my concentric circles. I already messed it up. Let's end, it, end that. Um, top sketch. Inscribe polygon. Make sure I have that T shape. I'll click it. And so if now if I know, and we're going to make it through and make a triangle. If I know that my type, outer diameter of the pot is three inches this has to be a lot smaller to make a stem so i'm going to make this half of an inch so there i have that is going to be the part that is extruded almost imagine if you had um if you were playing with play-doh and you know sometimes you're making the crazy haircuts because you have a, a, a plastic piece of hole in this shape and then when you push it down the play-doh then comes out and so we are now going to make the other part, which will show the direction the Play-Doh comes out. So I'll exit the sketch, take a front view, start sketching on the front, and I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can get a good scale. I know that this is a, I know I need to get it to be about uh, if it has to be at least three inches up. So here, actually, if I'm going to be doing some best practices, let me draw um, a line so I get a reference point. So I'm going to draw this here. Um, at make sure using my dimension make sure it's three inches so now i know that's where the top of the line is going to be i'm going to pause the video for one second sorry about that my computer wasn't properly plugged in so this i'll delete this line later but it just gives me a sense of where that top of the pot is going to be so i know how far to make um, my spline. Splines are these kooky little lines. I mean, again, we're just making a stem here, so it doesn't really matter what uh, the shape looks like. We kind of want to make it a little silly. At least that's my goal right now. So I'm going to make sure I have it, you know, within the general geometry. Remember, now it's going to be this shape is getting bent along this line and it's turning with it. At least it should. So make sure you don't want any too crazy turns or the shape will kind of, it'll, the system will freak out. And I'll kind of show you guys what to do in that case. And then let's have it come on over here in a nice bend. 
everything. And I'm going to double click to end it. Great. Now let's go back to our sweep. The face we want is going to be sketch one, the sweep path. We this in sketch two. Let's see how it does. Let's see if it likes us. Ooh, it did not like the end there. So I'll hit check. It'll it'll freak out. I'll actually, you know what? I'll delete it. Um, so it did not like how it ended. So let's go into sketch two. Let's revise it a bit. Okay, well that didn't work. So you can see even me with all of my CAD experience, I also have my struggles with this. So I'm gonna to try to make this line a little simpler. I got a little too excited about making it look silly. Then we're gonna to go to sweep. Sketch one will be the face. Sweep path's gonna be this. There we go. Now you can see our wonderful triangle sweep path that follows the spline. Wonderful. And then this is where, you, if you wanted to get fancy, you could choose um, a side face and start start a sketch, start drawing things to create thorns, and then do kind of a pattern to get it all the way up. But we'll leave this for now, so we'll call this stem. And then now let's go one more part for the top so for the top here let me show you guys i we did the spline on the last one so let's do just some regular lines so again choose the front sketch um i'll try to quickly show you guys two ways you can do this this way is a pretty simple one you can make intricate if you like i'm just going to make in some lines here and i can always change it if i don't like it so it's important again, so now you can see it's shaded in. It's important that you have all of these, the different um, markers. So like that T1, you know that this one's on the vertical line because it also has that T shape. So we're going to try this revolve. We have sketch one already selected and our revolve axis. We want it to revolve around the Z axis. So we're going to choose this here. And it's a, it's a weird shape, no doubt. You could make other cuts and extrudes into it if you like, but for the purposes of this video, we'll leave this as is. And just to check myself, I'm going to enter this sketch and get a sense of how big this is. So dimension, that seems about good, 2.28. So all the way around, it'll be a little around a little less than five. So great. Just keep that dimension. Um, so, and then when I hit check, we should see the part come back right now for to assemble it all together. Insert the different parts. So we have our flower pot and we'll start with one thing at a time. And then we have our stem. Oh, I'm running low on time. This might need to go into a second video, just a heads up. So we'll start with those two. We want to fasten them together. Fasten's a great one. We're not trying to have any of this stuff move like my design I showed you. So you're going to fasten, and once you click it, it almost looks like you're making an extrude or something. We want to see what mates you're going to fasten. So we'll get this circle here. That's how it's going to be in the center. That is kind of the mate receiver. So we want to click that one. So that's going to be one. And we're going to fasten it to the other one. So we're clicking two points that we want to fasten together. And this other point is going to be, sorry about my poor mouse work. It's going to be this one here. So I'm going to double click that. Now you can see they're all together. So I'll hit check. Awesome. Those two things are together now. Now I'm going to insert our flower top, move it to the side for now, and then do the same thing. I want to click fasten. I'll get its little circle on the bottom. And then I want the top of this stem. And that's great. I can also, um, and you can choose the different ones here, but we're going to keep to fasten. There you go. Oop, it made two. So we can delete. That looks like I added two parts by accident. So we'll delete one of them. Oh, where'd it go? Uh-oh. I went to the wrong screen. And this video is about to end. But that's essentially the idea. And then you have your part all together here. So the last step would be making sure it's, 
you wouldn't want this gap because it wouldn't be able to 3D print. So you'd be able, you'd have to shift this down 